Welcome back, everybody. Exciting day. ZBrush 2021. Kind of wish uh, the year was 2020 because 2020 kind of sucked, but that's a totally different story. But got my hands on uh, 2021 now and checking it out. We're going to go over quickly today. Uh, just kind of skim over the new cloth simulator and what that's all about there so you can start really cool things not necessarily just clothing but that's kind of what we're going to do today but there's so many other little aspects of it that you can do uh, that I will be exploring and hopefully be able to share with you but for today I thought we would take a crack at Earthquake here who's actually in your uh, let's go to tools I think it's under it might be under projects. Yeah, it's under projects, demo projects, and there's Earthquake right there. But I ain't going to load them up. I got a special one made up here just for you. So, what I wanted to start today, I figured, well, I'm going to take the straps off him, the, the, the wristbands and stuff like that. And I thought, well, I'm going to make a new shirt for him. And then, for some reason, I thought he needed a cape. So we're going to do that. So I already got a couple things uh, put together here. So let's load up the shirt here. And this is just a very simple geometry. Oops. Select shirt. There we go. As you can see, very simple geometry that we're going to use to uh, do our uh, cloth simulation. I uh, use the new, um, if you go t in your uh, spotlight, there is a new, uh, let's load that up. As you can see, I use this as a starter file, and it was able to uh, create it real quickly. Uh, I'll go over that some other time, but I, I was able to quickly come up with that shape, and then I kind of moved it around, re uh, did a Z remesh on it real quick just uh, kind of clean it up and so let's just dive straight in uh, and yes uh, this is a new UI real quick so you can't get that off of Gumroad I've got all the cloth stuff right here dead center so you can play with that and got the new dynamic slider over here so yeah definitely go grab it over off of Gumroad so you can kind of follow along here so basically we got the dynamics all set up here and what I want to do is kind of have this contract and deflate into earthquake here so what you want to do we're gonna click uh, deflate we're gonna do contract you want to make sure your collision volume is on uh, if it's not go ahead and click it I run it with a, a 0.5 inflate and what that is is just the distance from uh, your underlying surfaces uh, where that cloth is gonna full you know you know adhere to basically so it offsets it just a little bit for you if you do zero it'd be dead on but you'll see it start to uh, get eaten up by the underlying mesh so I do 0.5 seems to work pretty well you can set floor collisions we're not worried about that now uh, we'll do that with the cape but we'll go ahead and keep that I set the firmness to 6 and then on the deflates it's kind of hard to see let me turn it off but I have it set to Z and then same thing with the contract Z you can definitely play with those and then uh, if you need to you can recalculate the collision volume I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to be sure and it's gonna take into effect every visible subtool okay and from what I gather I think it just creates a, a low-res volume of everything that's visible so okay let's go ahead and just go ahead and hit run sim and let's see what happens I'm gonna turn that off and run sim and as you can see it just sucks it right in and then we're gonna go ahead if you just click on the screen or hit escape it'll stop the simulation and as you can see it's not quite sucked in the way I want it let's go to contract let's run the sim again nope let's do just deflate run sim 
Nope. That's okay. We now have brushes that will help us out here. So uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do, I think, the nudge. It's kind of my favorite one. We're going to scale him up. And it still uses uh, dynamics, or not dynamics, but the simulation. So you'll still have collisions. Get that sucker back over there. Looking more like a dress. that back up there kind of fix it a bit let's turn off deflate let's run the sim again flatten everything back to the surface yeah that one's gonna be difficult it is not <laughs> the most uh, easy tool to work with and I just picked a uh, cloth move that seems to work a lot better it's just like the move brush, but it actually calculates the simulation at the same time. Yeah, a little wrinkly. So definitely... Uh, something that I need to experiment with more with but I'm pretty jazzed about this I know Joseph uh, Drust and Michael over at uh, Pixelogic did a better job on the live stream the other day than I'm doing now but they've had more time to work with it you know because they get all the tools long before we get to see them. Cool. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and divide this up. We're going to delete lower. And then... Let me solo this. Oops. Solo. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and mask... that part off because you can use mass to help you out let's go ahead and unhide everything let's run the sim a little bit more and as you can see you get a lot more fidelity on the simulation it adheres to things uh, you get a lot more wrinkles and stuff like that so let's do just a little more Let's try the snake hook, see what happens. I'm probably not going to like this whatsoever. That oh, wasn't too bad. I think just the move will be fine. And you can still use the smooth like you would. Okay, cool. So, you know, we still have a pretty lightweight mesh there, which is only uh, 21,000 points. So now we can go to your geometry, or you can just click dynamic right here in my UI here. Uh, and you can change, the, you can actually add thickness to it, and a 0 .005, I think, was what I liked. There we go. And now we've got a thickened up shirt, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so, and you can still work with the simulation while it's in dynamic. So let's see, we'll do cloth wind. Turn that intensity down quite a bit because it gets a little crazy. And doesn't do anything. Maybe turn it up. slide does. See if we can add some more wrinkles in here. A 
Not much. Oh. A little aggressive. Okay. Cool. All right. So we got a shirt on him now. So let's go ahead and do... Let's turn our cape on. And basically, I did just another simple mesh. Uh, delete that undo history there. Okay. All right. So here's my simple little cape here. And yeah. So let's go ahead. I'm going to recalculate the collision because now that shirt's underneath there. So I want to make sure it captures that. It's already calculated. And let's go ahead turn them around here so we can see them better turn that off and run sim and let's see what happens oh I know what I need to do first I don't want it to slide off so what you want to do is Go ahead and mask some of these points. And I don't want that neck to droop down either. Okay. There we go. Now we're ready. And run sim. Stop the simulation. Huh. It's interesting. It didn't hit the floor like last time. All right. Go ahead and make sure those guys are all masked nice and neat. We're going to go ahead and stretch him out just a little bit. All right. Here we go. And the thing to remember, uh, the floor is always, or not the floor, but the gravity is always determined by your view. It'll always be the bottom of the screen, so you just hit set direction. There you go. So if you ever want to flip it, just flip them upside down and set, set the direction again. All right, so go ahead. Let's run sim and see how it works this time. And in theory, it should hit the floor this time. There it goes. Now it's starting to hit the floor just a little bit. Click it. And that'll stop it. We'll go ahead and move them down just a little bit. Actually... Run the sim. There we go. Now we're starting to hit the floor. Stop the simulation. We can go in here and do our cloth move. You can bring it in. Pull it out just a little bit. This way it kind of adheres to the body just a little bit. Or the shirt in this case. Let me get it to hit the leg a little bit. There we go. That is too big. There we go. All right. Make sure it's not intersecting with the shirt any. Alright. 
Get that mask off there. I didn't do a real good job on... All right, we'll go ahead and divide, delete lower here. Gonna just go to a regular move. Clean this up a little bit. We can go to cloth move. Go ahead and activate our dynamic at thickness 0 0.005. Boom. Add my little medallions here. Boop. Not quite where they need to be. Close enough. So yeah, that is a quick overview of the cloth sim. So yeah, there's a lot more you could do with this. Uh, I need to do a lot more exploring. You could do a lot more exploring. But just uh, this should get you going. And hope you have fun with it. Uh, definitely hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or whatever and show me what you're doing uh, with ZBrush 2021 free update for everybody that has ZBrush already and if you don't have ZBrush why not go get it come on so th thanks for joining me today and I hope you have fun with uh, ZBrush 2021 and I'm gonna catch you in the next video you guys have a great day